Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's show is brought to you by who? Daniel Andrews. Yes, we're going to talk about the perverse genius of Daniel Andrews here at the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, okay, we're going to talk about Dan Andrews as a kind of perverted genius, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we'll say this up front, I mean, Daniel Andrews, we should thank him, because everybody in the freedom movement, from Ozzy Cossack to Chris Coveries to everybody, have all come together, you know, Tim Wilms, Unshackled, uh, Michael Gray Griffiths and Damo Richards, we've all come together in a dislike of Daniel Andrews, so we should thank him for having united us all in this way. Um, so, you know, there's that, but I want to talk also about how he is, you know, I mean, a kind of perverse genius. Um, uh, in doing what he's doing, you know. I mean, for example, today, he was meant to face a court uh, the day that this uh, podcast was recorded. Uh, he was meant to uh, face court for treason, and he's obviously... Uh, had some good news that, that have just happened to him. He's had to go into isolation because he attended an event last yesterday that he, there could have been a COVID case in the area. So it's best, it's safe, probably safest if Daniel Andrews spends the next two weeks in isolation. I figure he should be patient number one out at the Centre for Resilience out at Nickelham. You know, that'd be very fitting if he, the first person to get put in a concentration camp is him. You know, wouldn't that be funny? But like, um, you know, I think, you know, really, if you look at it from a globalist perspective, Daniel Andrews, probably of all the world's leaders, uh, would have to be you know, up there as employee of the year. I mean, he'd have some competition from Justin Trudeau and and that bitch over in New Zealand, though, whose name eludes me, Just, Jacinda Ardern, that's right. So you'd have some competition, but you got the top three there. Um, you know, you got Andrews, Jacinda Ardern, and uh, Trudeau. They would be fighting it out for the globalist, um, you know, puppet of the year. But, you know, I think Andrews might have the, uh, you, know, and, you know, he has a kind of um, perverse, uh, how would you put it, talent for kind of implementing um, these kind of things, you know. I mean, he's had that rebellion in his ranks from Adam Somanyak, you know, who's been releasing these wonderful, uh, you know, normally would probably be a bit tut tut to Adam Somanyak, you know, due to his branch stacking and stuff, but due to the way he's turned on Andrews, I mean, he's practically a saint. I, I can't wait for the Pope to beautify Adam Somanyak. I think he should be Saint Adam, you know what I mean? Saint Adam the Great. Um, you know, because uh, he's uh, taking uh, Daniel Andrews to the cleaners, mate, you know, and he's just doing these wonderful kind of tweets, you know, revealing that what an egomaniac he is and, um, you know, that you know how he's how he's involved um, in brand stacking and how he likes to go to dinner and get drunk and say racist things I and mean, all this classic stuff. So he's been revealing, but you know Andrew's still it, it, you know you got to give it to him. He's a kind of fighter and. Uh, Another thing I'm going to say about him, he's a builder. I mean, he's got this kind of, um, uh, you know, you Victoria's big build. I mean, God knows what the uh, the price tag of it. I mean, you know, I mean, maybe China was originally going to be paying for all this with the Belt and Road thing. They got cancelled by ScoMo, but like the, the bill for this must be billions and billions of dollars. I mean, he's, he's basically taking the entire Frankston line and lifting it like 50 feet to the air. I mean, I don't know how much that would cost, but that would cost billions. He's building tunnels here, tunnels there, and everywhere you go, particularly at Christmas, traffic is slowed. I mean, you know, it's just insane there isn't a part of Melbourne that's not being rebuilt at the moment. Uh, I don't know, I mean, obviously with the Belt and Road deal cancelled, the Victorians are going to be, have to be uh, fitting the bill for this, so that's going to be interesting when that turns up. But like, you know... Though, even though he's had this, he's had rebellion in his ranks, he's kind of like been cleaning house for people who are against Daniel Andrews, who he's been getting rid of. You know, so it's really been extraordinary, but still, uh, Andrews has held on. And if you believe the polls in the newspapers, Andrews is still popular. So, um, you know, I just wanted to pay tribute to our glorious leader, Daniel Andrews, who, you know, I don't like, but one has to kind of you know, admire um, one's enemies, you know, uh, for their sense of uh, what they do. And I think, you know, Andrews does what he does rather well. You have to give it to the guy. And, uh, you know, he is a formidable opponent. Let's put it that way. So, um, we'll, ha we'll have to see what 2022 brings to Daniel Andrews. But uh, there it is, you know. Shout out to Dan. Good on you here at the report from Tiger Mountain. Oh, well, and of course, how can we forget the uh, incident down at uh, Lindsay Fox's house where he fell down a flight of stairs? Exactly what went on there. There are various rumours, some, you know, so unsavoury. I, I dare to mention them here at the report from Tiger Mountain. But, yeah, so, I mean, maybe he was just, uh, you know, a bit overexcited at having, uh, having locked everyone down so successfully that he just missed his foot down the flight of stairs he went. And then he spent, you know, two or three months away with uh, Mr Molino taking over. But he came back, you know, he came back. And I said, as soon as he came back, well, look out, we're going to be locked down again. First of all, he locked us down just for two weeks. We thought, oh, he's gone soft. He's gone soft, ladies and gentlemen. But no, he came back soon after with a uh, lockdown that pushed Melbourne right over the top to the world, the most lockdown city in the world. So there you go. Again, the perverse genius of Daniel Andrews.